Governor Eddie Calvo says sitting face to face with one of the family members of the victims of the tragedy in Tumon was one of the toughest days on the job. I'm looking at the eyes of a man who in seconds lost his mother, his daughter, and his two grandchildren are now in the care of a hospital with stab wounds. And you see, uh, you, don't know, you don't know this man, you don't know his history, but you know, as, as a father, as a husband, and as a grandfather, all of a sudden, you, it hits you. It was a pre-scheduled invitation by the Rotary Club of Guam set to focus on the economy and the government finances, but Governor Calvo instead focused on the tragedy. It's going to be a difficult time over these next few days. And is it difficult for all of us, it's even more difficult for them. The tragedy has definitely shocked the business community as well. Rotary Secretary and Docomo Pacific's President and CEO Jay Shedd says, while we care about our tourism industry, we also care about the well-being of our tourists. He announced the Rotary Club is putting together an assistance fund, starting with $1,000 to aid in the efforts. One of the sayings that uh, I just heard recently from a, a trip uh, to Japan, um, my CEO actually said it to me, he said, after the rain, the ground gets harder. And that means that, you know, after something bad happens, we can make it a better place. Rotary Club of Guam President and Bank Pacific's Mark Fish says he hopes the fund will grow as many of its members through their businesses will most likely personally provide additional monetary support. We all have a responsibility, you know, everybody is accountable as the governor said today and uh, we want to send a message of sadness and the fact that this was a unique situation and hope that our island and our tourism industry can recover. The Rotary's funds will go toward the Guam Visitors Bureau, and its public information officer Tony Munya, meanwhile, tells KUAM that GVB is researching within its budget on how they can assist in transporting the bodies and accommodating family members coming to Guam. He adds GVB is working on how to put together all the offers of assistance and donations coming in to aid in the efforts. As of now, it has set up a point of contact with its membership and projects officer, Doris Ada, who can be contacted at 646-5278 or emailed at doris.ada at visitguam.org. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.